If you compare the spec sheet, you might think that the mid-tier Pixel 7a has the same Tensor G2 chipset as the Pixel 7, but apparently, that's not the case. eSIM Studios has learned that the Tensor G2 that powers the Pixel 7a is an inferior version of the G2 that fuels the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. Although both versions of the chips are pretty much the same, Google went for a different packing or also known as packaging technique for the Pixel 7a system on a chip. Packaging is the last stage in the production of chips and it involves placing a chipset in a protective covering to protect it from external elements and heat and helping it connect to other parts of the device it's meant for. Google is reportedly using the IPOP technology for the Pixel 7a, which Samsung first introduced for its 2018 Galaxy S9. For the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro Tensor G2, it uses a more advanced technology called FOPLPPOP. Like everything else, the packaging technology is getting complicated. Chips made using IPOP are thicker and larger compared to FOPLP processors and also run hotter. But the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro's FO, PLP CPU technology is newer, more complicated and more expensive, which explains why Google went for the older and cheaper IPOP CPU technology for the Pixel 7a. Even the first Tensor chip used the newer FOPLP processor technology. There doesn't seem to be any discernible difference between the Pixel 7 a G2 and Pixel 7's G2, though and both appear to perform similarly on paper and in benchmarks. Their CPU benchmark scores are fairly comparable, but the Pixel 7 performs better under longer periods of usage with heavy loads and is better for gaming. Still, at the end of the day, the difference is not huge, and at most, the Pixel 7a might get a little hotter at times or slow down a bit while gaming. The Pixel 7a is $100 cheaper than the Pixel 7, so most buyers will probably ignore this small difference and continue to regard it as one of the best affordable phones. However, during our 4K video test of the Pixel 7 Pro our test was cut short due to the 7 Pro overheating. It lasted all of about 20 minutes of continuous 4K video recording at 60 frames per second before the camera app crashed due to overheating. Just keep that in mind if you are a heavy gamer and or shoot 4K videos. The ambient air temperature during our outdoor 4K video shoot was well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If you do play intense games on your mobile device, the Pixel 7 might be a better choice for you, as it dissipates heat better than the Pixel 7a under heavy loads. Please subscribe to our channel for all the latest technology news and reviews. Thank you and have a great day.